The retail landscape is changing. Among the victims, retail giant Sears, whose CEO recently expressed doubts about the company's survival after losing more than $10 billion since 2011. Retail strategist Wendy Liebman. Sears has finally reached a point where the potential for it as a company to continue to exist, either as a retailer or as a financial institution, as a real estate property, that's just all gone. Sears is not the only store in trouble. Business Insider says as many as 3,500 stores are set to close in coming months. But instead of a retail apocalypse, as the headlines suggest, on Skype, National Retail Federation's chief economist, Jack Kleinhens, tells VOA the change is part of the business cycle. Let's look at the banking industry. We had twice as many banks 10, 15 years ago than we do today. There's consolidation that goes on. It's a natural phenomena in a market economy. But if the internet has changed the way we shop, so has the rise of tech-savvy millennials who are increasingly at ease buying almost anything on tablets or smartphones. Here's Morali Goki at business consulting firm Alex Partners on Skype. What we also found is that uh, within e-commerce, uh, M-commerce or mobile commerce is, taking it, is growing at an even more rapid space. Uh, M-commerce almost means, or was marginal back in 2012. Now it accounts for almost 20% or more of the uh, online purchases. But while online stores have benefited enormously, Sarah Spagnolo at Foursquare, a mobile analytics and social networking company, notes that e-commerce represents just a small fraction of consumer spending. The issue of store closures is getting a lot of airtime. The thing that we at Foursquare always talk about is how 90% of foot traffic still happens in the real world at brick and mortar stores. But experts predict more store closures in the future, partly because of an overabundance of stores. The U.S. has the largest ratio of retail space per capita in the world at about two square meters of shopping space per person. But to suggest shoppers will spend less as stores close is just not true, says the NRF, which projects about a 4% increase in consumer spending in 2017. Alex Partner says it's a good time to be a shopper. Consumers are actually having, a, having one of the best times, I would say, in terms of access and buying power. It's the retailers that are hurting right now. Mil Arcega for VOA News, Washington.